Hi class, this is the first in a series of videos helping to review some of the weather forecasting topics in Chapter 12 and in particular looking at upper airflow and weather forecasting. So let's have a look at this map first. Uh, this is a radar image that shows precipitation patterns. Uh, red and yellow colors indicate heavy precipitation and greens and blues indicate light to moderate precipitation. And what we see here is a typical pattern associated with a mid-latitude cyclone. And what we want to do is think about this concept of trend forecasting and looking at what that would mean for the weather in some of these states that are being affected by the mid-latitude cyclone. So first, let's think about what we've got going on. This is a big low pressure system here, right? We have, we know that this would be our cold front here and this here would be our warm front and it's a mid-latitude cyclone in the northern hemisphere so our circulation is counterclockwise the general direction of the storm movement is from west to east so we have this storm circulating in the counterclockwise direction the cold front is moving this way and this warm front is moving in this direction like that so let's think about some questions. So which states are likely going to experience thunderstorms associated with the cold front in the next 6 to 12 hours? Well, this cold front here, remember cold fronts are steeper and they move faster and they are going to produce more severe weather and thunderstorms. So the states that are going to be affected in the, just the next few hours are going to be Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, um, Mississippi, Alabama, um, and, you know, maybe depending on how, how fast it moves, Ohio and maybe Georgia as well. So as this front moves across the states, they're going to get severe thunderstorms. So what do we know about the temperature in Alabama over the next 24 hours? Well, as this cold front moves across, what's going to happen with the temperature? The temperature is going to drop. So we know that the temperature in Alabama is going to fall because in the next 24 hours, it's going to be experiencing this cold air that's behind a cold front. Remember, in a mid-latitude cyclone, we tend to have that continental polar air moving in and pushing through behind the cold front. So Alabama is going to have that soon. Pennsylvania, on the other hand, up here, what's going to happen here? Well, this warm front is going to move up. And so Pennsylvania is probably going to have warmer temperatures. Uh, than when this image was taken. So as that warm front moves up and this whole system moves to the east, Pennsylvania is going to warm up. And then the last question, which state, either New York, which I've covered up by this arrow up here, or Georgia, which is down here, is more likely to have cirrus clouds overhead when this image was produced? Well, where are we going to see cirrus clouds in a mid-latitude cyclone? That's going to happen far in advance of the warm front, right? Because remember, we have uh, a progression of clouds associated with a warm front, starting with cirrus clouds furthest away and then moving to nimbostratus at the warm front. And so New York is likely going to be experiencing cirrus clouds as, it's, as, a, as a sign that that warm front is moving towards it. And the cold front, remember, is only going to have a line of clouds right at the front, and it's going to be a short band of clouds. So Georgia is now in the warm sector of the front between the warm or the cyclone between the warm front and the cold front, and it's going to have warm, clear weather until the cold front hits. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.